Tsunami 2004 Catastrophe How did it happen? Today we will find out. Sunday, December 26, 2004, Indonesia Thailand Sri Lanka Hundreds of local people and tourists are on the beach, and children are enjoying the beautiful weather. 7.58 a.m. local time Somewhere on the coast of the Indian Ocean, collides two continental plates between the Burma Plate and the Indian Plate. An earthquake was recorded. A megathrust earthquake that registered a magnitude of 9.1 intensity. An earthquake with a magnitude of 2.0 happens less than a million times per year but can be rarely felt. 3.0 happens about 100,000 times per year and can be noticed by few people. 4.0 happens about 10,000 times per year, felt by many people, a minor damage possible. 5.0 happens about 1,000 times per year, felt by people, possible broken plaster and chimneys. 6.0 happens about 130 times per year, strong, damage variable depending on building construction. 7.0 happens about 15 times per year a major and extensive damage, some buildings destroyed. 8.0 happens about 1 per year, great, extensive damage over broad areas, many buildings destroyed. 9.0 happens less than once per year, great extensive damage over broad areas, most buildings destroyed. An earthquakes can be often be felt for 30 to 40 seconds. An earthquake that lasts for more than one minute is very rare, but this earthquake was the third largest ever recorded and had the longest duration of faulting ever served, between 8 and 10 minutes. The strength of the earthquake is like an atomic bomb. It caused the planet to vibrate, as much as 10 millimeters and also remotely triggered earthquakes as far away as Alaska, that is a thousand distance miles away. Tsunami caused by energy underwater, from an earthquake or volcanic eruption. When the tectonic plates of the Earth's surface slip, releasing massive energy, this energy travels up displacing water and rising above the normal sea level and put it down, to the tsunami is born moving over 700 to 1,000 miles per hour, like the speed of an airplane. When it far from the shore it can be barely detectable since it moves through the entire depth of the water, but when it reaches shallow water, the waves slow down but its height rises to as much as 120 feet. The word tsunami in Japanese means harbor wave and seems to appear near the coast. What happened after tsunami? Which land are affected by tsunami in 2004? Indonesia. The earthquake destroyed a lot of buildings in Sumatra Island and the province of Banda Aceh. After 15 minutes of earthquake comes 30 meter high tsunami and totally destroyed the province of Banda Aceh. Here is the satellite image of the place. Before and after. Estimated death 167,540. Missing 37,063. Homeless 500,000. Tsunami continues to devastate in Indian oceans and creates nightmares. Thailand. About two hours after the earthquake, the region is popular amongst tourists and many were caught off guard by the tsunami, as they had no prior warning. The tide retreated much further than usual, more than a hundred meters from the shores, exposing the sea floor. Many tourists begin to flock to the exposed area, taking pictures, and locals can be seen trying to gather fish. They are warned to evacuate and some listen. While others did not care 20 to 30 minutes after the water retreated to the sea, the tsunami can be seen suddenly as a turbulent bore. Vacation paradise turns into a nightmare, and lifeless bodies were floating around the once heavenly shores. Approximately 8,000 people were killed. The island country of Sri Lanka, located about 1,700 from Sumatra, was ravaged by the tsunami around two hours after the earthquake. Moments later, the ocean floor was exposed to as much as one kilometer in places, which was followed by a massive second and third tsunami wave. Amateur video recorded showed a large deluge flooding the city, carrying debris, and sweeping away people while in the coastal resort. The tsunami appeared as a huge brown-orange colored bore which reached the first level of a hotel causing destruction and taking people unaware. 
with approximately 35,000 killed by the tsunami. Approximately 90,000 buildings and many wooden houses were destroyed. Homeless, 516,000. A regular passenger train operating between Maradana and Matara was derailed and overturned by the tsunami and claimed at least 1,700 lives, the largest single rail disaster death toll in history. India, total died, more than 16,000, homeless, more than 647,000, Somalia 78, Myanmar 61, Maldives 82, Malaysia 68, Tanzania 10, Seychelles 3, Bangladesh 2, South Africa 2, Yemen 2, overall death 230,000, homeless, 5 million. What are your thoughts regarding the disaster? What would you do if you were in that situation? Feel free to share it in the comments section.